embraced her suffering. In fact, on the ride on the ambulance to the emergency department, uh, she refused a, a shot of fentanyl. But then when she got to the ER, the ER doctor offered her um, some morphine. Now she doesn't, she doesn't remember that, but she got morphine. And she was alleviated from her pain at that point in time, but she doesn't, she doesn't remember that. Um, it was a bit of a scary episode for sure, but she'll be on the dance floor before too much longer. Now, each of us kids have a special relationship with mom. And, um, you know, you may have heard, for example, that my brother Dan, just last year, was allowed out of his room after chasing Cheryl with his tape for the upteenth time. Dan spent most of his childhood in his room. He didn't know that. <laughs> That's the only place mom did summon him to keep him in line. But uh, what I think the, the one that <clears throat> takes the cake is the, the story about the time that <clears throat> I think shortly after Dad died, Mom and Danny took a trip somewhere. I think you were up in Michigan or Cherry Country or something like that, northern Michigan. And um, so they had, for some reason, they had Mom's car and they had two sets of keys. And Mom had forgotten one morning that she needed something out of the trunk. And in the hotel that they were staying at, the, the room that they were in kind of overlooked the parking lot. So Mom goes down to the car pops open the trunk to get what it was that she needed out of the trunk. She goes to shut the trunk. Danny's watching this whole thing from, from the view of the uh, hotel room. And he pulls out his set of keys and he hits the trunk button, the latch. <laughs> shuts the trunk, starts to walk away. <laughs> How many times did you do that, Dan? Five or six times? 112. <laughs> I think finally, after he was doubled over in pain from laughter, I think he finally relented and, and uh, mom came back in and she's, and Dan said, do you have any trouble with that trunk? You wouldn't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> there are uh, three things that are uh, vitally important for mom, faith, family, and tradition. Tradition is mom, one of those things for mom that you don't tread on lightly. So, for example, if you bring the wrong side dish to Thanksgiving dinner, you may be relegated to the crescent rolls for the next five years. <laughs> now, her family always comes first, um, and she always went out of your way, out of her way, to make you feel at home. And uh, which is remarkable after uh, living with uh, Grandma Bonnie for 15 years. It's amazing that she stayed sane you know, all that time. So um, her faith was also something that is very important to her. And uh, <clears throat> she worked hard all those years to make sure we made it to Mass every Sunday and to CCD and all that. And we know that uh, her faith is uh, that she believes in the here and after. Because there are many times when Mom will leave one room in the, in the house and go into the other and says, Right. Now, what was I here and after? Again? <laughs> <laughs> um, in all seriousness, Mom, um, each, each and every one of us has been profoundly touched um, and impacted by your care, and your love, and your friendship over the last 90 years. We have all been sweetly blessed by uh, your presence in our lives. We want to take this opportunity to uh, invoke God's blessing upon you in the years and ahead and in your life. So if you would, uh, bow your heads and we'll say a, a blessing. Almighty Father, today we have the great pleasure of celebrating the love and the life of Betty Ann, our mother, sister, aunt, grandmother, and friend, with whom you have so generously blessed our lives. We ask, Lord, that you look upon your daughter who has faithfully lived her 90 years trusting in your divine providence and grant her every grace and blessing. May she be gifted many more years with us and enjoy them in good health in mind, body, and spirit. And may she continue to bless this family and her friends with her steadfast love and devotion that we return the same in full measure, filled up, packed down, and overflowing. Bless our time together in this celebration of her 90th birthday as we honor her with our presence and offerings of goodwill and love. May she be filled with joy and peace this day and every day all in accordance with your divine will. Amen. Amen.
Mm -hmm. You get honors, you get to lead the, <laughs> you get to lead the pack. So <laughs> grab a plate and dig in. Thank you all for coming. Enjoy.